Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak video. This is Kazu here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Harvest Moon Switch skill, which is a brand new Switch skill for the Longsword that's going to come out with the Sunbreak expansion. I'm really excited to show you guys this new Switch skill. So let's get into a detailed breakdown of this ability. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Harvest Moon, this is a new switch go for the Longsword that provides a Silk Bind Arena of sorts, um, which boosts the Spirit Gauge and counterattacks within it. The switch skill replaces the Serene Pose switch skill, which is left trigger plus A for those of you who use Pro Switch controllers, and it consumes two wire bugs upon use. The glowing blue circle is an indication of Harvest Moon's area of effect. This effect persists as long as you have your weapon drawn. The circle will glow red if you go near the edge and will send you flying back inside if you try to leave without sheathing your weapon. Harvest Moon will expire once the player has manually bounced twice from the circle or sheathed their weapon and put it away. Due to this effect, it is highly recommended that you set your sheath settings to manual sheath if you haven't already done so. Attacks with motion, such as the EI Spirit Slash or the Fade Slash, will also cause you to bounce should you enter the edge of the circle while using the move. The next part is going to cover the Spirit Gauge effects while using Harvest Moon. While inside of Harvest Moon, you will have full Spirit Gauge and it will not deplete while within the circle. You can repeatedly use Foresight Slash with no drawbacks. You can also use your spirit combo as much as you want because your spirit gauge will not deplete. At the end of a spirit combo, you will automatically sheath your weapon, and so to prevent this, go into the sheathing stance, which is right trigger plus A for Switch players. And remember that while upkeeping Harvest Moon, it's important to note the sheathing stance does not count as putting away your weapon. So basically, whenever you finish a combo, a spirit combo, Always go back to the sheathing stance so that Harvest Moon stays active and that you can have it persist for as long as possible. Now let's go over how the counters are affected by Harvest Moon. While inside Harvest Moon, counterattacks will proc additional hits whenever they strike a monster. As you can see here, the damage is dependent on hit zones and not guaranteed to hit every single time. It can proc up to 4 additional times per counter. In this case, the Foresight Slash only hits 3 times and on the feet, which has terrible hit zone values. The second one, however, hits twice, but for much better damage on the head. This EI Spirit Slash hits on the head for an additional 4 procs of damage. Now despite the 50% damage nerf EI Spirit Slash that's going to happen in Sunbreak, it's actually stronger than before if used in combination properly with Harvest Moon. As an example, we can see here the damage numbers of the base damage by just multiplying it by 2. And we're doing about 15% more damage than before if we land all of the procs of Harvest Moon. This is going to provide Longsword players with a high risk, high reward playstyle focused on landing counters. As you have to stay within the limits of the circle, Harvest Moon's effectiveness can be somewhat reliant on the Everything monster AI, the so that's circle. definitely something to take into consideration yep. when using this ability. And be wary against monsters like Astalos and Rathalos who can fight with ranged attacks. In this example here, I'm getting very frustrated because the Astalos just simply wants to stay outside of the circle. The addition of Harvest Moon will create a larger skill gap between good and bad Longsword players who use the usual playstyle of EI Spirit Slash into Spirit Helmbreaker. Dude, I give up. I fucking actually give up. So let's get to the question that everyone's wanted to ask. What works with Harvest Moon? Harvest Moon can proc additional hits on the following counter. The Foresight Slash. EI Spirit Slash, Serene Pose, the new switch skill Sturdy Spirit Slash, and the new Sacred Sheath Guard Point Counter. 
Now, as for things that it doesn't like work with, really Harvest Moon does not work <laughs> with other players in online oh and co-op. Oh my god, only going for you. So, it's only okay. going to benefit you as a longsword player and your counters. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, that's good to know. The auto counter from Sacred Sheath also will not proc additional hits. For those of you who aren't familiar with Sacred Sheath, I do have a complete guide to Sacred Sheath. Links will be in the description below for that. In conclusion, the Harvest Moon ability is a new switch go for the Longsword that is going to provide a very interesting, albeit restrictive, playstyle for the Longsword, which at optimum levels of play is actually going to be doing a lot more damage than previous. So despite the nerfs to the EI Spirit Slash and the Helmbreaker that are going to come out with Sunbreak, the Longsword playstyle will actually remain quite strong. Um, but it probably won't be among the lines of Broken or OP because of the skill gap that's going to be required utilizing Harvest Moon to its full potential. I hope you guys found the information in the video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. It always helps the channel. There's going to be a lot more Sunbreak content to come out. Sunbreak is coming out in just a matter of two days. So I'm excited. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.